I'm glad that these are not hard to get. Coming on YouTube, it's your boy I am, and this is I am Sneakers, with these sneakerheads, and thank you again for stopping by. And if you're passionate about sneakers, if you love sneakers, or if you have interests about sneakers, you are on the right channel. And if you haven't yet already, or if you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when I drop a new video. And you can also find me outside YouTube. All my social links will be included in the description of this video. And please do me a favor with smashing that like button because it helps the channel to grow and for today's episode we will do a closer look and detailed review of the air jordan one high taxi or yellow toe and with all that being said let's go Like what I'm always saying, and I believe you will agree that Jordan 1 is one of the most iconic and popular sneakers. In fact, every month, there's so many colorway releasing. And one of the cons of this is that Jordan 1 is becoming more saturated. And it is very rare to get a solid colorway with a nice quality. The last colorway I remember, or the last solid colorway I remember is the Jordan 1 Stage Haze or Blitz Coral. And today, we're gonna take a look of the Jordan 1 High Taxi or Yellow Toe which has a pretty dope colorway with a nice or great leather quality. The official release date of this pair is on September 24 and this came early here in the Philippines. This were dropped last Saturday, August 13, in a retail price of 170 US dollars or 9,395 in Philippine peso. There is 300 Philippine peso increase as it is 9,095 in Philippine peso before. So let's start the unboxing by looking at the box. The box actually mimic the colorway of the shoe. It is in color yellow with Nike branding in black at the top lid of the box and in all sides. And on this side, you have the size tag sticker containing the shoe details. And it says here, Air Jordan 1, Retro High OG, and the official colorway is Taxi Black C. So let's open the box. Upon opening the box, the pair comes in a uh, typical or usual white paper. This is the uh, standard white paper of all Jordan shoes. And here is the shoe. This is the Air Jordan 1 High Taxi or Yellow Toe. Honestly, I'm not into color yellow, but I can't resist copying this because of its quality. This reminds me of the Jordan 1 SBB 1.0, though the quality may not exactly the same, but it is closer. And the only pair I have which I think closest to compare is my bread toe ones. Though I love the tumbleness appearance of the yellow toe or taxi, in terms of softness, the bread toe pair is better. This is the same not only on the toe part or toe box, but also on the ankle, mid, and back part. In my opinion, you can say no with this kind of quality. And to appreciate how dope they are, let's take a closer look. The Air Jordan 1 High Taxi or Yellow Toe is dressed in a taxi, black, and sail color scheme. This offering of the Air Jordan 1 comes in the classic black toe style blocking. Instead of university gold that was used on the Shine Down sample, this will feature taxi yellow contrasting accents inspired by the Air Jordan 12. A white sail midsole and a yellow rubber outsole completes the design. Starting at the front panel of the shoe, black smooth leather toe cup or mud guard, yellow tumbled leather toe box with perforations for breathability, black nylon tongue, 
black default flat laces. There are no extra laces included on the package. White tank tag with a Nike Air branding in yellow. Going to the lateral side, it has a classic black toe color blocking. The Boss Wings logo in black. White tumbled leather quarter panel. Black swoosh in smooth leather. Black smooth leather ice tape panel. And yellow tumbled leather overlay. This is the same on the medial side. Black ice tape panel in swoosh. Yellow tumbled leather overlay. Sail white quarter panel and midsole. Going to the back panel of the shoe. Black smooth leather ankle collar. Yellow tumbled leather overlay and back panel. Checking the interior part of the shoe. Padded sock liner in black. Yellow insoles with a Nike Air branding in black. Lastly, the greatest traction of all time, the default outsole of Jordan 1 in color yellow. Nike logo or branding at the mid part. As far as sizing is concerned, they fit through to size in my opinion. The usual size you get will be good but of course if you want to be sure and if there's an opportunity it is always the best to try them on first before copying and in terms of comfort jordan ones are not the most comfortable sneakers but the comfort is pretty decent they have no boost technology so don't expect too much on its comfort if you want to add extra percentage of comfort you can use replacement insoles which are more comfortable than the default ones like I said earlier, I'm not into color yellow, but there's something on the color tone of this which keeps growing in me. It is not the typical yellow we see. In my opinion, it is like golden yellow, which I begin to appreciate more. And I'm really glad that these are not hard to get. But on the other hand, I'm also thinking with this kind of quality, I think they must have a higher resale value. But it is still good as others who want to own a pair can get it in retail or a little over and in my opinion this is the perfect time to buy this as uh, the right time in the future i think the uh, resale price will skyrocket and that's pretty much all about the air jordan one high taxi or yellow toe Let me know your thoughts on this pair. Did you cop one or planning to get one? Anything that you want to share, leave a comment below and let me know. And if you haven't yet already or if you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when I drop a new video. And that's it for this episode. Always remember, cop what you want, rock what you love. See you on the next one. Peace. God bless. Hangat Samuli. Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and